Hi there. If you're having trouble viewing your smart cart, whether that be the smart cart doesn't show at all, or your theme's native cart is also showing with the smart cart, then you've come to the right spot for some help. Since there are so many different kinds of themes with different settings, we'll go over a couple of scenarios where the smart cart will not appear the way we expect it to. In this technical walkthrough, we'll go over some examples where your theme's cart type is set to a specific setting. So for example, some themes that have their cart type set as page will work seamlessly with our smart cart. To show you, here's a smart cart that's currently live and published. If we click into settings and look under the advanced section, you'll see there are no event callbacks enabled. This means there is no custom code to help with getting the smart cart to appear. Now, when we go to our store, we'll see that once we click on our cart icon, the smart cart will appear. In some cases, this may not happen on your theme even if your theme's cart type is set to page. So in this case, if you're unable to get the smart cart to show, we'll have to dig a little deeper into some code. Our goal at this point is to locate the code or the selector for the cart icon. Now bear in mind, every theme is different. However, the approach to the solution is very similar. First, let's right click and click on inspect. Here we have a view of our developer tools. On the top left corner of the dev tools, we'll want to click on this icon. This will help us narrow down the selector for the card icon. Then, let's click on the card icon. Now, you'll notice a bunch of HTML code appear. We're looking for an element that starts with either an A or button opening tag. In my case, this would be the element I would need to reference. Once you have located this element, you'll want to grab a unique selector, either referencing it by its class or classes, or by the ID. Let's copy this cart icon bubble ID for later and head back to our smart cart advanced settings. Now we'll want to enable the ready callback so that we can put some custom code to help with showing the smart cart. Take a moment to place the following code in your ready callback. Once done, we'll need to make one more adjustment. Replace the place selector here text with the ID you have chosen and make sure that selector is in quotations. If you are referencing an ID, you will need to place a hash before the selector. If you are referencing a class instead of an ID, you will need to place a period before your selector. Great, you have just added code to help with opening the smart cart when clicking the cart icon. Don't forget to save and preview your changes. If you're stuck in the scenario where your smart cart and your theme's native cart are showing at the same time, Usually in these cases, your theme's cart type is set to drawer, but not to worry. Let's head back to our store and see what the issue is when we have two carts showing. When clicking on the cart icon, you'll notice that two carts appear. The smart cart is on top while the native cart is in the background. Now let's try closing our smart cart here. As you can see, our native cart is still showing. Let's list out the issues that need resolving. First, our theme's native cart is showing when clicking on the cart icon and when closing our smart cart. Secondly, the theme's native cart does not close when we close our smart cart. So let's handle these one by one. First, we'll want to make sure the theme's native cart closes when we close our smart cart. If we don't close the native cart, we may run into a couple of issues. Your theme's dimmed overlay will persist or you'll be stuck on the page and won't be able to scroll. Now let's do the same thing we did before. First, let's right click and click on inspect. On the top left corner of the dev tools, we'll want to click on this icon to help us narrow down the selector we need for the close button of the native cart. We're looking for an element that starts with either an A or button opening tag. In my case, this button element is exactly what I'll need to reference. Let's copy this drawer close class for later and head back to our smart cart settings. We'll want to enable the hide callback this time so that we can put some custom code to help with closing the native cart. Take a moment to place the following code in your hide callback. Once done, you'll want to replace the place selector here text with the selector you have chosen. Make sure that selector is wrapped in quotations. As a reminder, if you are referencing a class, you will need to place a period before your selector. If you are referencing an ID, you will need to place a hash before the selector. Nice work. The code you've added will close the native cart when closing the smart cart. Let's save and preview our changes. Let's click on the cart icon 
and close the smart card. And there we go. This time we got both of the cards to close. Now our next goal is to keep the theme's native cart hidden. In our settings, let's disable the hide callback for now. We'll need to target the selector of our theme's native cart. Let's save our changes and return to the store. Let's click on the cart icon and close the smart cart. Then we'll want to target the cart drawer of the theme. Notice how these elements are nested in the other elements? We want the element that represents the whole cart drawer. A good way to show what each element represents is by hovering or clicking on the element. You can then right click and hide element. Notice how we only hit a part of the cart drawer? That means we'll need to go higher in the hierarchy. In my case, this cart drawer element will be the one I'll need to reference. Again, every theme is different, so your selector may be different. Once you have confirmed the selector you'll be referencing, head on over to your smart cart settings. First, let's re-enable the hide callback. Then, go up to the custom CSS setting. In this setting, place the following code. Once done, you'll want to replace the place selector here text with the selector you have chosen. In this case, you won't have to wrap your selector in any quotations like we had before. Since my selector is not referencing a class or ID, but an element, it does not require a prefix like a hash or a period. Great, we should be all set. Let's go ahead and save our settings and return to our store page. Let's click on our cart icon, and there we go. We are no longer seeing the theme's native cart drawer. Well done. At this point, you should have successfully debugged the native cart and the smart cart, whether your cart type was set to page or drawer. Now that your smart cart is all up and running, check out our other walkthroughs to help make full use out of your smart cart. Thank you.